got Omega Snake here, and this is it. We finally reached the final boss of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. It's been a long time coming, and well, this basically turned into a Let's Boss play, even though I, I didn't really intend for it to be, but eh, there it is. Now, no one really requested this boss, but you know, I figure might as well go all the way, right? <laughs> it's kind of dumb to leave it at just Quadraxis. So, yep, here we are. Finally. Now, let me do this one more time before we start. Um, now, if you've been going for 100%, this is basically the point where you should have 100%. Um, you sh the totals for this one are, if you, you know, if you're looking for 100%, are 14 energy tanks, 255 missiles, 250 light and dark beam ammo, and whoa, uh, 10 power bombs. Those are the totals you should have if you've been looking for 100%. Alright guys, one more time. Here we go, time to take on the Emperor Ing, get the last of the ener of Aether's energy, and finally put an end to this game. Alright. Alright. Well, there it is. Oh! I figured that would be too easy. Alright. There he is. Alright, you son of a gun. Let's do this! Alright, let me go over something really quick. Now, in order to beat this guy, at least his first form, you have to go for the core inside of him. However, in order to take out the core inside of him, you have to take out his tentacles first. Tentacles? Why did it have to be tentacles? Uh, trust me, Bayonetta, I know how you feel. Anyway, now, the fun thing about this is that, well... Almost any weapon will work to take down his tentacles. You can use the power beam, the charge shot, the light beam, the dark beam, normal missiles, super missiles, seeker missiles. Heck, you can even use a power bomb if you time it right. However, the one weapon I truly recommend to beat him as fast as you can is the annihilation beam. I know it sounds awesome when you say it. But anyway, the Annihilation Beam actually homes in on its target, so it'll may it'll take him out, out and his tentacles pretty quick, and they do a good chunk of damage. However, however, they don't truly home in, home in. You know, they kind of curve. <clears throat> so yeah, so I would say use the save your annihilation beam until you got a clear shot and then just wail on him just let him have it it'll take out his tentacles quick and then and then well once his core is exposed hit him with super missiles trust me they'll those do a lot of damage to the core even more than than the annihilation beam so yeah uh, Use the Annihilation Beam first to take out his tentacles, and then use the Super Missiles to to damage his core. <clears throat> Just watch out for his attacks. He, he'll spin around and try to hit you with his tentacles. Oh yeah, and also try not to back up too much, because the room is covered in Phazon. Uh-oh. Watch out for when he's gathering dark energy. He'll throw a dark ball that does 10 units of energy. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but still don't want to get hit by it. Yep, see? Oh yeah, and he'll also drop more ammo, so you know, don't worry too much about it. Uh oh. Watch out for that beam. If you get hit by it, well it won't really hurt you, it'll knock your cannon charge offline. So, when you, the second you see it pulse, and you know that the ring goes back into him, that's when you should dodge. Uh oh, he's gonna charge, he's charging up. 
Ready, dodge! Whoa! That's weird. Eat it! Ooh! Mama, that really had to hurt. Of course, the more times you do this, and the more damage he takes, the more tentacles he puts out. And then when he puts them like that, he's gonna try to sp spin and hit you with his tentacles. So, you know, get ready to jump when he puts them in a straight line. Right. Ready? Dodge! Bingo! Let's see, he's got a couple more attacks. Let's see if he'll do them. If he doesn't do them by this, I'll just, I'll just move on. But holy crap, that's a lot of tentacles. Okay, when it when they're glowing like that, it basically means well he's gonna put them through portals and that's when you should run. <clears throat> Let's see, he's got one more attack. Uh oh. Uh oh, watch out when they're shaking like that, because well, when they're glowing like that, jump! So yeah, so watch it when they're shaking like that. It may it means he's gonna make a dark shock wave. Jump. Jump. Alright, time to finish this guy off. Bingo! I've always been good at taking out the Parasite Queen. It was basically like that. Alright, here's the second phase. <laughs> okay, yeah, you have to use the Spider Ball to stick to this guy. Now, now the only way you could damage him is taking out those tentacles inside the cracks of, cracks of his shell. Now, there are two ways you could do that. The faster and easier way is to, is to you know, use power bombs and then watch the fireworks. However, if you haven't been getting 100% and, you know, you're kind of low on power bombs, there is a second way, and I'm going to show that first. <sighs> okay. Wait, in, wait until they bubble and then drop a lot of bombs on it. See? You can just use normal po normal bombs if you don't have a lot of power bombs. Oh yeah, also it's a good thing that those uh, Inglings um, dro actually drop some some pickups. So you know if you if you want to stall and try to get back your get back a lot of your ammo and energy, well this is a good ch place to do it. Uh oh. Of course, watch out after a certain amount of time. The gas will rise, and, well, this is when you gotta s try to stay on top of him. <sighs> Alright. Now, if you do have the power bombs, wait until they come out, and then, and then watch the fireworks! Not only that, but it kind of lingers for a bit, so... So even after they come out, after you drop it, there's a good chance they'll still get hit by it. Like that. Boom! Boom, baby! Yeah, it's easier to use the power bombs, but you can use the normal bombs if, you know, you don't have the ammo. If you don't have as many power bombs. So, yeah. So, yeah, you know, that's for you speedrunners. Mm. 
son of a gun. Oh, shoot. The gas is rising. Good thing I have a lot of energy, or that would have been bad. Okay. Okay, that's enough of me stalling. I gotta take this. I'm gonna take this guy out right now. Now, if only that would come out. All right. Ah, timed it wrong. Oh, come on! <laughs> okay, that's kind of dumb. All right. All right, that, that wasn't very graceful. Oh, well. All right. Time for the final phase. This is where he shows us his true form. The leader of the Ing. The Emperor. Okay, now let me explain something really quick. Now, in order to damage him, you're going to have to um, overload load him with energy. But in other words, just keep pumping him full of attacks. Now... Now, when it's orange, just about any attack will work. Missiles, power power beams, and things like that. However, when it goes light or dark, you need to be you need to hit it with its course with the opposite element. In other words, when it's white, hit it with dark, and vice versa. Of course, you know you can use the annihilation beam to take out his to take out the core, and it'll also do a lot of damage. However, the reason I paused was because well. In this form, he has three attacks at the start, and then every time you do do like a fourth of his health, he'll gain one new attack until until after the pat until after you're past hit half health. So you know, once you reach half health, he'll only gain he'll only gain another attack, and then after that, no more. So yeah, so right now he has three attacks. One one is where he'll jump and then do a shockwave. The second is that if you get too close to him, he'll try to hit you with his claws. But the main, the main thing I want to talk about is the ones where he summons lasers. Ugh, those lasers can be a bit of a pain because he summons so many of them. Now, here's the thing. On their own, they don't do much damage at all. However, the reason I'm talking about them is that if you, if you get caught in the air and, you know, into a bad spot, they can actually do a lot of damage. So, yeah, the main thing is that don't jump. Just jump. Just try to do a strafe dodge. So I hope you've been working on those. You'll be needing them. You'll be needing your strafe dodge. So I hope you've gotten the hang of it. Otherwise, you might have a bit of trouble. Anyway, here we go. All right. Here they come. Hey, better to take a little damage than a lot of damage. Anyway, at first, because it's so small, it's a little hard to hit. So, so use the Seeker Missiles. I don't know why I wasn't able to jump. Bingo! Alright. Now that it... Alright, so it's dark. Now normally you could just try to hit him with the, uh, with the light beam. Or hit him with the annihilation beam if you have the ammo. Yeah, when his mouth is closed, forget about shooting at him. You, nothing will get through. You'll just have to wait. Ah, change back. Yeah, it's better now. While you now, while any attack can can and will damage him, it's better to just go for your standard attack. So that way, you're not wasting your light and dark ammo. Trust me, you don't want that to happen. When you hear that humming, it basically means that, that he's at one-fourth health, and now the target is actually bigger. And that's his new attack. Yeah, this is the point where I recommend super missiles. Uh-oh. 
He's gonna charge! Yeah, watch out for that sign. When you see him shaking and start to, you know, widen his mouth, it means he's gonna charge at you. So, watch for that and dodge out of the way. Like this! Alright. I... He's gonna jump! Alright. When you see him shake like that, that, and you hear that noise, <clears throat> that's when he's gonna summon the lasers. So yeah, so watch for... So watch when he shakes. Alright. I think... I think that's enough explaining. You guys got it. Bingo! Yeah, basically when he shakes it, and, you know, about to charge, that's also a good time to unload on him with, with what you've been charging up. You know, easy target. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, when he's in, in the light form, he gains light or dark, he gains a new attack. When he's light and he hits you with that light beam... Not only does it knock your cannon out of commission, but it'll also, it'll also burn you, you know, dealing a lot of damage. Alright. Alright, let me try to get those things. They drop some ammo. Alright. He ate it! Ah, I hit his leg. Uh-oh. Ah, shit. Timed it wrong. Alright. Bingo! Alright. Uh-oh. Ah. Be better to take foes on damage than that light damage. Alright. Alright. This is the point where he'll get one last attack. One. Two. Get out of the way! Yeah, that is his last attack. Where he'll basically... Basically stomp his feet twice and then dash. Like, faster than he normally dashes. One. Two. And get out of the way! However, if you're close to the wall, wall, there's a good ch there's a chance that he might actually hit his head against the wall, and then you can pump, then you can pump him full with that hole on his back. <sighs> okay. Okay. You know what? I'm getting tired of you. Whoa! 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 All right, you know what? I'm getting tired of you. Quarter guy, this is for you, buddy. If you have the ammo, you can do this. There we go! Yep, if you have plenty of ammo, you could just you could just pump him full of full of annihilation beam and it'll take him out like that. Whew. Well, that's basically it guys. That's how you beat the Emperor Ing. <sighs> Alright. The last of Aether's energy. Time to grab it and go home. <laughs> well, that's basically how you beat the Emperor, in, guys. I hope this helps you out. Oh, uh oh. Oh, that's not good.
Planetary condition critical escape at once. So basically it means Run for your life. Yeah, good idea, good idea. Uh anyway, I, that's how you beat the Emperor in guys. I hope this helps you out. And I gotta get the heck out of here. But anyway, that's basically how you beat him. If you have plenty of ammo, you can just pump him full of the annihilation beam. Especially if he's at when he's at half health, if you got plenty of ammo to spare, that yeah, pump him full of full of it. Otherwise, just use the light and dark beam when it when his energy is at light and dark, and you know, just missiles when his energy is orange. And oh crap, I gotta get out of here. Anyway, I hope this strategy helps you out if you were struggling with him. And remember that if you want to help me out, I have a Patreon in the description below, and you can follow me on Facebook. And, oh crap, oh crap, I gotta get out of here. <sighs> huh? What? Huh? huh? Phozon. That means... Phazon, there he You. Alright. Let's end this. Next time on my channel, with the threat of Dark Aether crumbling, Dark Samus now wants one last rematch. But will I be able to do a boss strategy under a time limit?